But so I also want to talk about like, it's like sort of like from leadership here too, because that's part of what we want to talk about and um, the community building and leadership aspect. And what are the things, I mean, I guess, how do you guys feel about like storytelling leadership? Do you guys have any thoughts on that before I just start talking about it? Or how do you guys, what do you think the relationship might be there? Well, I think executives, especially for publicly held companies, for example, yeah. do very good communicating with uh, not only their employees, but with the public because they can talk in stories. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Instead of what the stock price was these different days. Yeah, 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 yeah. definitely, definitely. I think it's a way that we have, we create buy-in from the public, yeah. um, whether it's from our customers, from our volunteers, um, from our you know potential donors. Um, it's a way that we create that investment where they want to invest. Where you don't, there's sort of it, that's the barrier that you cross from a story. Then they're already in, yeah. and then the next ask is a lot easier. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if that's true or not. But no, no, that's not true. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Any other thoughts on this one? This is another really important aspect of this, like storytelling and leadership too, because um, one of the things that really comes out from a very good storyteller is, so I want to see if I can quiz you guys to get it out of you and see if you can figure it out. Um, there's a, but there's a quality, you know, as, you, as you share stories, you have to share something about yourself. And it ends up being that you can't really hide yourself anymore as you're sharing these stories. Values, but this is a little bit deeper than values. It's vulnerable. Vulnerable, yeah. Sort of vulnerability and like authenticity is, is, is the thing that comes out. And, um, but yeah, by sharing your own stories, hopefully, you know, you're sharing stories that are honest and vulnerable and they, they show an authenticity of who you really are. And what happens when we sense authenticity from a person? We like them better. We like them and we, we trust them, right? Mm -hmm. um, and these are important qualities for leadership because being likable, being trustworthy. But that's also easier said than done because even if you are you know, willing to tell stories and share stories, vulnerability and authenticity can be really difficult sometimes. And it takes um, maybe knowing yourself well, well, you know, knowing yourself, maybe um, it's hard to sort of understand ourselves. A lot of times we tell ourselves our own stories ourselves and may or may not actually be true, may or may not actually reflect the truth. Um, and yeah, it can be scary sometimes also. So um, I wanted to, man, you guys can't really see this, so can you? Okay, it's still like super small though. Um, but I wanted to do uh, a quick exercise here. What I can do is maybe I can move the screen closer. Um, Can you guys read that, or is that too small? Yeah. We can read it? Okay, cool. Um, so basically, this is uh, just a list I made of some influential feelings and ideas, and uh, it's, it's about half tongue in cheek, but you can figure out which half that is. I'm not going to tell you which half I thought was. Um, but what I want you guys to do here is I want you to actually take a look at this list and come up with like a couple, like just like two or three ideas on there that really represent kind of your core values, like things that are most important to you in the world. And then maybe two or three ideas on here that might influence you more than you like to admit. Mm. And it doesn't need to be perfect. This is just for the sake of an exercise. This doesn't need to define you as a person. But um, basically, I'm going to ask you to share a story, like in the groups and share a story on one of the, each of those ideas here. So I'll give you a couple minutes to look at this list and um, yeah, just so three things we want, three things that we... Yeah, just write down two or three ideas that, that, that represent your most important values and two or three things on here that might represent something that influences you more than you like to admit. Alright, so what I'm going to ask you to do is pick one item from the list of those core values for yourself. Find a partner to share the moment that where those core values showed up for you sometime in the last week or two. It doesn't have to be anything crazy, just, just some time that one of those core values showed up for you. And um, so yeah, so pick a partner and do that right now. We're going to tell one story each. And after we've done that, we'll take another partner 
And you're going to share a story on when maybe one of those things that influenced you more than you like to admit showed up in your life. So, ready? So, yeah, should we pick different partners that we have on? Yeah, mix it up. Mix it up. Each other? Yeah. Are you okay with that? Sure. <laughs> we we'll tell you about all my great food on my head. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. So that was kind of a surprise. Yeah. 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 Yeah